Hello, in this Visual Basic programming video, I am going to show you the group box component. So if we go to toolbox, go to group box, it should be right. Okay, so it's now in the common controls. You need to go to containers or just go to all Windows forms or just search for it. Either way, you will find it. So go to group box and if we just drag this on. So we got this group box right here. So let's run it, see what we get. And it just says group box one. But what is a group box? Like, what's the purpose of it? Basically, it allows you to group and you know content together. This has you know several advantages. So I'm gonna increase that size a bit. If we go to toolbox, I'm going to add a button. So as you can see, when I hover over it, it's selected. So it's actually adding it to the group box. I'm going to add, I'll add another button. Again, positioning, sizing, that doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna add, it doesn't, again, I'm not gonna do any functionality with this. I wanna show you the purpose of this. Okay, so, so we've got this right here. Look what happens when we move the group box. It moves all of the content inside. So this is fantastic. And if I run it, we get, you know, we get a group box with a bit of a faint line and you know you can change the properties the actual you know background image the actual style itself you know all that stuff you can modify the text the name and then you can also access all of this programmatically all of that stuff you know i'm sure you're fully aware of by now so let's just let me show you one other thing so if i were to I'll just sort of you know move this stuff around here. And what I'm gonna do is add one more group box. So we got one down here. And in here I'm going to add some radio buttons. So add a radio button. You may see where I'm going with this, but just bear with me. So we add a radio button. So let's add one more. If we add one more, run it. Okay, so you know, we can select these radio buttons, you know, when only one can be selected at a time. But if you want multiple groups of radio buttons, you would use a group box. Look what happens if I add a radio button to the first group box now. And I'll add one last one. Now if I run it, if I click that, and then I click that, these select you no know, section of radio button even though the numbering is going afterwards that's just the name because it's the fourth radio button applied to our form it's just named the radio button four but ignore that if we ignore the actual label next to it as you can see these three operate independently to this you can go even a step further and this is what i want you to do is you can add group boxes within group boxes and really go crazy experiment try changing it programmatically but honestly that's really it group boxes are really really cool so when you got a form and you need to you know group content together whether it's because you've got radio buttons and each set of radio buttons need to work independently or simply if you just want to easily be able to move stuff around and you can do with group boxes so that's it for group boxes if you have any questions feel free to reach out and I look forward to seeing you in the next programming video.